What is going on guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video. So in today's video, I thought it'd be kind of fun to talk about the top 10 best linking buddies, or as I like to call them, dynamic duos of Dokkan. Now I came up with this list based on my personal experience with the game, but this is in no way a complete list of all the great linking pairs out there. After you're done watching this video, if you think there are any other dynamic duos that deserve to be in the top 10, then feel free to let me know in the comments down below. Also note that while this is a top 10 list, these pairs aren't presented in any particular order. My hope for this video is that some of you watching right now may be able to learn something and potentially make some improvements to your current teams. Now if all that sounds good to you, then let's jump right into it and we're starting off strong with our first duo, UI Goku and STR Godku. A while back, I made a video talking about the optimal Realm of Gods team. To the surprise of some people, I included STR Godku on that team. Now, this wasn't because he hit the hardest or was a great tank. By the way, he does pretty well in both of those categories, but it was simply for his crazy synergy with the leader of the team, Ultra Instinct Goku. This pair shares four links, Over in a Flash, Godly Power, The First Awakened, and Fierce Battle. In total, they give each other plus 3 key and an attack buff of 50%. Of course, UI Goku is going to be the main damage dealer between the two, but STR Godku can definitely hold his own and can hit quite hard as well. At number 2, we have LR Goku Black and STR Rose. This was pretty much a match made in heaven. Altogether, they share 6 links, Fear and Faith, Nightmare, Dismal Future, Prepare for Battle, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. This means that they give each other plus 5 key, 50% attack, and 25% defense when Big Bad Bosses is active. All that combined with LR Goku Black's persistent healing and tanking, and STR Rose's 50% defense support, and this is a rotation that will not die. Another thing that makes this duo so amazing is that they fit on some of the strongest teams currently in the game, such as Batara and Realm of Gods. In the number 3 slot, we have AGL Turles and Great Ape Turles. So Turles isn't really a character that generally gets people overly hyped, but this is definitely a duo that deserves your attention. When it comes to pure attack links, these two are the best in the game. The pair shares 5 links in total, Destroyer of the Universe, Prepare for Battle, Thirst for Conquest, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. 4 of those links are attack links and result in a whopping 80% attack boost and plus 2 key with Big Bad Bosses active. If you also factor in AGL Turles' passive, both of these guys are getting a grand total of 120% attack and plus 5 key when linked with each other. Funny enough, even though AGL Turles is the category lead here, Great Ape Turles is actually the primary damage dealer. He already gets plus 3 key and 90% attack on his own passive, so when you link him up with AGL Turles, he ends up with a 210% attack boost and plus 8 key. The only downside is that he only has a supreme damage multiplier, but he will still hit very hard. At number 4, we have LR Gohan and Weiris. So this might be a bit of a weird one to some of you out there. When you think of LR Gohan's teams, Super Int, Hybrid Saiyans, even Patara, Weiris doesn't really have a spot on any of them. But the reason these two make such devastating partners is because of LR Gohan's nuking ability combined with Weiris' orb changing passive. Weiris is hands down the best orb changer in the entire game. He's the only orb changer that can change two types of orbs, namely tech and int, into physical orbs. This means he will be providing LR Gohan with a ton of orbs every turn for those deadly nukes. He also happens to share shocking speed with LR Gohan for an additional plus 2 key as well. But to be fair, Weiris would be an excellent partner for almost any unit in the game with a nuking passive. At number 5 on the list, we have LR Broly and TUR Broly. Now how can I make a list like this without mentioning the infamous LRTUR duo? These guys are the perfect linking partners as they activate every single one of each other's links with the exception of Legendary Power which is exclusive to LRs. That's Super Saiyan, Saiyan Warrior Race, the Saiyan Lineage, Berserker, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. All things considered, they both get plus 3 key, plus 25% attack, an additional 700 attack from Saiyan Warrior Race, and another 20% attack buff when below 50% HP from Berserker. LR Broly, who is already one of the hardest hitting units in this entire game, takes it to another level when linked with his TUR counterpart. 
At number 6, we have Final Form Cooler and Full Power Frieza. In my opinion, Final Form Cooler is the best Extreme 120 lead and his team is probably one of the most fun to run as well. Believe me when I say that no Extreme Fizz team is complete without Cooler's best friend, Full Power Frieza. They share 4 links in total, Strongest Clan in Space, Universe's Most Malevolent, Big Bad Bosses, and Fierce Battle. With BBB active, we're looking at plus 2 key, plus 55% attack, and plus 25% defense. Number 7 might be a bit of a controversial one, not really sure what you guys will think, but I'm going to include it anyways. We have LR Goku and Frieza, and Tech Tien. Honestly, when I first saw this duo come up on tier lists, I was pretty confused by it. Of course, including LR Goku and Frieza is always a good starting point for any duo, but why is Tien his best buddy? Well, if you delve a little bit deeper into their mechanics, it all starts to make sense. As far as links go, they only share three. Rival duo, experienced fighters, and over in a flash. With those alone, we're looking at plus 3 key and plus 20% attack. However, when you factor in Tien's support passive for super tech, we're now up to plus 6 key and plus 60% attack. But that's not all. Tien's super attack also happens to lower the enemy's attack, which activates LR Goku and Frieza's additional 77% attack passive that only procs when the enemy is in attack down status. Now, of course, you can also make a solid argument for Physical Android 17 as LR Goku and Frieza's optimal linking partner. And I wouldn't necessarily disagree with it, but you can't deny that Tech Tien works amazingly well with them. At number 8, we have Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta and Super Saiyan 4 Full Power Goku. Needless to say, this is a very powerful rotation. But as powerful as these guys are alone, they become absolutely ridiculous when linked together. They share 6 links in total, Super Saiyan, Saiyan Roar, Prepare for Battle, Shocking Speed, GT, and Fierce Battle. This means they both get plus 6 key and a 50% attack buff. SSJ4 Full Power Goku is able to output massive amounts of damage, and SSJ4 Vegeta is an awesome tank. They also happen to fit on both Shadow Dragon Saga and Pure Saiyans together, so make sure to link them up on those teams whenever possible. As a side note, you can also throw in STR SSJ4 Goku instead of SSJ4 Vegeta if you want to go for full on damage. In number 9, we have Physical Omega Shenron and Sin Shenron. While often slept on, the Shadow Dragons category is still very strong and they also happen to feature one of the best linking duos in the game. Omega Shenron activates all of Sin Shenron's links, and Sin activates all of Omega's except one. They share six links in total, Brutal Beatdown, Big Bad Bosses, Fierce Battle, GT, Fear and Faith, and Shadow Dragons. When Big Bad Bosses is active, we're looking at a combined plus 4 key, plus 65% attack, and plus 25% defense. And in the 10th and final spot, keep in mind that these aren't ranked in any specific order, we have SSJ3 GT Goku and STR SSJ4 Goku. This is probably the most well-known duo in Dokkan and their notoriety is well-earned. I think we can all agree that SSJ4 Goku hits hard without any supports or links, but when his best buddy SSJ3 GT Goku is around, he becomes an entirely different beast. This dynamic duo shares 5 links in total, Super Saiyan, Kamehameha, GT, Saiyan Roar, and Fierce Battle. When linked, they give each other plus 2 key, plus 50% attack, and an additional plus 2500 attack when launching a super due to Kamehameha. Now you might be thinking, 50% attack, that's pretty average when you look at the other pairs on this list, but of course, there's more to it. When you factor in SSJ3 GT Goku's support passive that gives another plus 33% attack, we're looking at a very impressive total buff of 83% to both of their attacks. As a result, SSJ4 Goku will be easily hitting for 2 to 3 mil, and SSJ3 GT Goku, even as a support unit, can output some decent damage as well. Of course, SSJ4 Full Power Goku works here as well, but they won't share Kamehameha. Now before we get out of here, I want to give honorable mentions to a couple of duos that didn't make it into the top 10. Starting with STR Janemba and STR Perfect Cell. Now I know Extreme STR isn't a super popular team, made obvious by the glaring lack of STR Janembas on all of our friends lists, but these guys still deserve to be mentioned on this list. These guys have 4 links in common, Big Bad Bosses, Nightmare, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. 
when Big Bad Bosses is active. That's plus 2 key, plus 50% attack, and plus 25% defense for both of them. Don't forget that this cell also hits extremely hard with his 100% attack passive, immense damage multiplier, and an additional 20% boost to attack and defense for every super. And the other duo I want to give an honorable mention to is AGL Super Saiyan Blue Goku and AGL Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta. This pairing is probably not as popular as the other ones mainly because the units are not the most exciting. They're not 120 or category leads and they're not LRs. Nonetheless, this is one of my favorite pairs to run on a Super AGL team and for good reason. The two blue boys share 6 links, Super Saiyan, Warrior Gods, Super God Combat, Resurrection F, Prepare for Battle, and Fierce Battle. They both get plus 2 key, 50% attack, and plus 700 additional attack from the Resurrection F link. When linked, these guys can both do well over 1 million damage, and Vegeta can provide some decent tanking as well. Alright, so that was my list of the top 10 dynamic duos in Dokkan. Like I said in the beginning, there are a ton of other great pairings in the game, so let me know about your favorite ones in the comments down below. And that's gonna do it for today's video. As always, if you liked the video, make sure to like the damn video, and if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And also, if you haven't yet, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows that you want to stay up to date with all of my latest content. But anyways, hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.